here's the gambler with the slide track. The slide track allows a lot of scope for adjustments and allows sort of everybody to easily sort of customise their own stance and exactly how they like their boots on their board. So this is how I put my boots on. I put this slider all the way to the inside to make sure I've got the widest stance possible. Then I put the boot on, I line it up with that inside insert, and I slide this insert down to line it up with the outside. Then you get your Ronix insert which fits nicely into the top of the boot and slide it on so it lines up with the number 9. I like to line it up with 9. You should line it up with 12. It doesn't matter too much but it's nice to get the, the angle of the duck correct. If you have it too ducked you can end up with calf cramps whilst you're riding. And if you don't have it ducked enough you can also end up with calf cramps as well and it's just not as comfortable a ride. So I like to do 9 on the outside and 9 on the inside just to uh, make sure that the heel and the toe are equal distance to the front and back of the board. And then crank them down. Yeah, the boots are on. I personally like a, a wide stance, like the widest stance that I can go on the 139 Gambler. But uh, if you're slightly smaller or you, know, you like to spin a little bit faster, then you can actually slide the stance in a little bit. But I mean, most of the time when you're riding boots, it's quite nice to have a wide stance so you've got extra control over, over your movement. There you have it, that's how I put on my boots.